Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And today we're going to share with you our fears that we had before we moved to Cuenca, Ecuador. Plus some fears that we still have after living here for two years. Even though we had lots of fears, we didn't let it stop us. We still sold all our stuff and moved to Cuenca, Ecuador with our two dogs. If you're thinking about becoming an expat or moving to Cuenca, Ecuador, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified about our upcoming videos. We definitely had some fears about moving out of the country and one of the fears we had to face immediately was selling all of our stuff. I have to say I resisted JP on this one a lot. I was worried about giving up all the things I accumulated. I thought a lot about, well, like, gosh, I spent all this money. I'm not going to get my money back. What happens if we get somewhere else and I need that and I can't get it? Oh my gosh, am I going to die? <laughs> so obviously I faced that fear and I conquered it because I'm much happier not having any of those things. And even though we live as minimalists now, I don't feel like we're minimalists because we have all of the comforts that we had in the U.S. here in Cuenca, Ecuador. One of my major concerns was, were the medical services that were available here. Am I going to be able to find a qualified English-speaking doctor? I have a lot of issues with my spine that are so ongoing, and I was really worried about that. And luckily, we found lots of doctors who speak English here. Most of them studied in the States or in Europe, so qualification is not an issue. We've seen the facilities. They're a little bit dated for what we consider, you know, in the, in the States, we have the Taj Mahal hospitals. They don't have Taj Mahal hospitals here. It's normal hospitals with modern equipment. And a lot of people come here from other countries to get surgeries and procedures done because it's so much more affordable. Our next fear was all about speaking Spanish and being able to communicate in our new country. We were both nervous. We've been on trips to Mexico and, um, you know, you can communicate in a resort, but that's basic Spanish, like donde esta el baño. <laughs> we needed to be able to speak a lot more than that. And as you may have seen, if you watched any of our other videos, we are still learning and struggling, but we've definitely faced that fear. It was scary for us when we first got here. The language is a little bit different. We learned Mexico Spanish and this is Ecuador Spanish and it was interesting. I understood more, but my vocabulary was limited. So we did really well if JP was there to speak. I would interpret and JP would speak. But you know what, we made it through and here we are now and we have a lot more comprehension, a lot more vocabulary and a lot more, uh, more laca under our belts. <laughs> One of the big concerns we had before moving here was being able to drink the water. It's one reason why we chose Cuenca because they chlorinate the water here so it's supposedly safe to drink but even after we came here we still drank bottled water for quite a while but we finally just took the plunge and said we got to start drinking the, the tap water. It tastes like mountain spring water. We really like it here. A lot of people are concerned about the safety in South America and I was one of those people. We had several people tell us that they were worried we were going to become drug mules. Well, I can safely assure you that we are not drug mules <laughs> and that we feel very safe here. Crime is pretty low. The, it's petty theft here, mainly pickpocketing. That hasn't happened to us, but we you know, try to take precautions. I definitely feel safe when I'm walking around by myself. And again, I take precautions like I would in any city, so I don't walk alone by myself at night on dark streets and I um, don't flash cash and wear fancy pants jewelry and watch my phone, but I walk around and live my life like everybody else does. We were also really concerned about getting from point A to point B once we got here, because we didn't want a car. and We still don't have a car after two years. Turns out it's really easy to get around here. There's a lot of public transportation. The cabs are affordable, but mainly we just walk everywhere. We live in the cities and everything is within a relatively short walk. We can get to El Centro in less than 20 minutes, the Mercado in 10, Supermaxi in 10. So we just pretty much walk everywhere transportation has not been an issue. One of my biggest fears was, am I going to get my visa or am I and Leisha and Daisy and JP going to get kicked out of the country? I was extra super worried about this once we brought our dogs with us and I was just a nervous wreck. It took me a while to let go of having control and having everything lined up perfectly like we're used to in the U.S. The communication wasn't quite as good here and they changed the laws in the middle of our visa process. but. I realized I needed to listen to everyone's advice and say, everyone told me, it'll happen, Amelia, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, it'll happen. And you know what? They were right. It did happen. Everything turned out great. I am much more tranquilo now. And I definitely do not worry about things like that anymore. 
Being online virtual workers, one of our biggest fears was having reliable and fast internet connectivity because we were kind of we kind of thought that other countries especially in South America might not have internet that would work for us being virtual workers but I'm happy to say we have no issues here we have fiber to the curve it's faster and more reliable than what we had in Denver Amelia does video conferencing I do video uploads we have absolutely no issues with our internet connectivity here very happy with it I had a lot of fears around housing. I was really worried that we weren't gonna be able to find a nice place to live that was safe and quiet, and most importantly, would take our two dogs. Well, if you watched another one of our videos, you know we found a really nice rental house. We have a great landlord. Finding a place to live here is definitely not an issue. There's a wide variety for everybody and every budget, and we couldn't be happier. And Daisy loves her courtyard. One of the things we were most concerned about, our biggest fear was bringing our dogs here. We didn't know what to expect. There were all kinds of requirements for shots and checkups. And we were worried about the air travel, putting them in an airplane, driving, driving them across the Cajas to get to Cuenca. Wow, we had a lot of fears about bringing them, but everything worked out fine. They came, came out just fine and they're very happy and healthy here. When we first left the US and came to Ecuador, we were worried about our mail. You know, we have to do our taxes. What if we need to get a replacement credit card? Things like that. That hasn't been an issue. We got traveling mailbox and it works really well. If you really truly need something and it's that important, there's DHL here and I've heard nothing but good things about it. But honestly, we've been here for two years now and I haven't had a problem with mail because we haven't needed anything mailed to us. We haven't had an issue thanks to the traveling mailbox. If I do need something mailed, I have it mailed to my parents' house. I know a lot of expats do that as well. So there's certainly many options to avoid the mail service or lack of mail service that's here in Ecuador. Coming from the Midwest, Amelia and I had never really experienced an earthquake before. And so we were kind of afraid of those. A couple years ago, there was a massive earthquake over on the coast of Ecuador and they're still recovering from the damage caused by that. So we were definitely afraid of earthquakes before we came here. JP and I had concerns about fitting in with the local community and making friends, honestly. We didn't know if we would be uh, welcomed. We heard expats were welcome, but you never know until you're here. And I'm happy to say we have lots of friends from all over the world, which is the coolest thing ever. From South America, from Europe, obviously from Cuenca and from Ecuador. We have such a wide variety of friends in all ages, people who work, families, retired, expats, you name it. It's really awesome. <laughs> we were also really concerned about making money living abroad and we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to earn enough income to support ourselves living here. We're not retirement age yet. We're still working age and so we had to bring our own income with us. We did record a, a video. I'll link that right up there so that you can learn more about how you can make money living abroad because working here and earning a living is not really a feasible option. One of the things that drew us to Ecuador is that it is a non-GMO country. So we knew we would get some good vegetables and fruits here, but other than that, we had no idea what to expect as for food. What are the restaurants like? Are there restaurants? Is there a grocery store? We're plant-based eaters. Are we going to be limited to only broccoli and potatoes for the rest of our lives? <laughs> Well, luckily that's not the case. There is an awesome super maxi here that's just like what you would find in the US. But more importantly, the Mercados are amazing. We have such an incredible variety of fruits and vegetables. We have a lot of variety of potatoes in our diet, tons of beans. We get tofu, we get almond milk at the grocery store at Super Maxi. Um, the coffee is incredible. And of course, the restaurants, there's lots of vegan restaurants here. There's lots of places with vegan and vegetarian options. So a good thing that we have to walk and the food is so healthy, despite me talking about all this food, we've actually lost weight. <laughs> well, we faced all our fears and we're happy here in Cuenca, Ecuador, but obviously we still have fears for human beings. And one of our biggest fears now is getting hit by a car when we're walking around town. Yes. Although I will say in the last month, I've noticed a big improvement in pedestrian awareness and pedestrian safety. So mm -hmm. that's not as big of a concern as it was. It's getting better. It is. We're also a little concerned about getting pickpocketed. We've heard several mm -hmm. people who've been pickpocketed here in Cuenca and it's a concern of ours, but of we course. just try and be aware and safe. Another concern of ours is our fluency with Spanish. And honestly, JP, I think that's going to be a concern of ours for the rest of our lives. Because the better we get, the more we realize how much more we have to learn and grow. But it's a process. <laughs> 
I'm also a little concerned. It's not really a fear, but I'm concerned about getting gringoed. Sometimes we still have to call the cab drivers out to make sure they turn on the meter. And we know we pay more for some things like flowers than we should. But, you know, it's just a fact of life living here in a country where bartering is common when we come from a place where it's not. So it's a little bit tough to get used to that. And so we're right. a little concerned about getting gringo. Agreed. One of the concerns we had when we came here and that we still have is traveling through the mountains, through the Cajas, because they have landslides. The roads are kind of scary and windy. Sometimes there's a lot of fog and these guys drive, some of the drivers here, the Busetta drivers and the bus drivers, in my opinion, they drive a little fast. Mm -hmm. And don't always pay attention. <laughs> no, it's a really good time just to nap and let go of the outcome because there is nothing you can do. Yeah, and it doesn't hurt to pack a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> We're still concerned about making money here too. Even though we, our Patreon subscribers are growing, we really appreciate you guys. Um, but it's still a concern of ours. Are we gonna be able to continue to make uh, make money? We never know about Amelia's job. You know, it's- uh, Well, nothing is certain, it's right? It's dependent upon the economy. If the economy mm -hmm. changes, Amelia may not have a job. So we're always concerned about that, concerned about being able to make enough to continue to live here. Although I will say since you did that uh, research on making money online, I'm not as worried about that as I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I feel like we can make money if we need to. Yes, we can. And our last fear we have, and this is really more JP's fear than mine, are earthquakes. Now, obviously, I would be worried if I was in an earthquake, but I don't walk around just wondering, oh my gosh, is there going to be an earthquake? Am I going to get mm -hmm. sucked up into a giant hole? <laughs> With the worst one that we were that we experienced was on the coast when we were there last year. We experienced an earthquake. We were up on the what fifth floor, yes. fifth floor of our hotel, and man, that thing was going like that. And yeah, it I was told crazy. Amelia, I said we gotta get out of here, and we went outside and kind of stood well away from any tall structures. But it was it was scary. That was my very first like real earthquake. We felt a couple small tremors mm -hmm. before, but that was a real earthquake, and I was afraid. It was scary, but honestly, other than getting outside there really isn't a lot you can do mm -hmm. so yep. just be aware and know what you're supposed to do in an earthquake but don't <laughs> yeah. live your life in fear no nope. and actually that's a good lesson to for everyone don't live your life in fear mm -hmm. if we had let our fears stop us who knows where we would be right now but i know we wouldn't be here in cuenca ecuador no we wouldn't be in south america that's right. for certain right right so I don't regret any of it. And it definitely made us stronger, pushed us out of our comfort zone to face our fears. Yeah, a ship is safest in the port, but that's not what ships are built for. They're no. built to explore the world. That's what we're doing. We, but you can't let your fears control you or else you'll stay in the port. That's right. If you enjoyed our video, please hit the thumbs up, give us a like, <laughs> and also feel free to share it with all of your friends on your social feeds. If you have any fears of your own that you'd like to share, if you have any comments or questions for us, please put them in the comments below. We'd appreciate that. Yep. All right, I think that's it for this video. We'll see you all in the next one. Ciao. Ciao.